Welcome to our Macro Express video that demonstrates creating a macro with a short key activation. Short keys are small strings of text or abbreviations. Just type the string and a macro runs. The macro demonstrated here will play back an email address. First we'll define the short key default settings that will apply to all short key activated macros. This only needs to be done once. To do this, click on Options and then Preferences to load the Preferences window. Click on Activations in the Short Keys tab to display the options available. Select Use Prefix Keys and enter the letter Z in the Prefix Keys entry space. This prefix setting requires typing the letter Z before the short key or the macro will not run. It's a precaution to help avoid accidentally running a macro. The other settings are OK as is, so click OK to return to the Macro Explorer. With the settings in place, click on the New Macro icon to open the Create New Macro window. Select Short Key from the initial activation list and type Email into the original Short Key entry space. In the Nickname box, enter My Email Address and click OK to open the Script Editor. To start writing the macro, expand the keyboard category of commands and double click on text type to activate the text type window. The text type command is one of, if not the most used commands in Macro Express. Use this function to play back text or any number of keystrokes such as the Alt key, Enter key, Tab, and many more. Enter the email address in the edit field. Select the Use Clipboard and Paste Text option from the drop-down menu. This option pastes the text during macro playback rather than type letter by letter. Press OK to save the entry and return to the script editor. A new entry is listed in the macro script. This entry shows the command used, which is, in this case, the text type command, followed by the email address entered. If a mistake was made entering the email address or a change is needed, just double click on the entry and edit the address in the text type window. From the script editor, click on the Save and Close button to save the macro and close the script editor. Open the Macro Explorer to see the newly defined macro, My Email Address, added to the list of available macros. To test the macro, we'll open a notepad window. Type the Z prefix key and then the short key email. The text is erased and replaced with the email address. This is a very simple macro. The macro could play back thousands of characters of text or other keystrokes, mouse moves, and much more. This concludes the short key tutorial of Macro Express. Thank you for watching.